New at six, sad but true. Two bull terrier puppies like this one are still missing more than a week after they were stolen. Their owner had posted them for sale on social media. Jesse DeGoriato tells us what happened when she delivered the pups to their supposed buyer. Brianna Canales has her arms full. And this one, her name is Mac, uh, after like the Spuds McKenzie dog. <laughs> A litter of Spud McKenzie's adorable bull terrier puppies is now minus two. They were stolen, not sold as their owner had hoped by using social media. A little boy and girl, less than six weeks old, for $1,250. Money for Canales to go to a national cheerleading competition. A young man messaged her that he wanted one for his mom and another for himself, asking she bring the puppies to him. After some initial doubts, when Canales arrived in the parking lot of an apartment complex, she says he and another guy had a wad of cash, so she thought they were legitimate buyers. So they're like just talking to me about them and all this stuff, and out of nowhere they just book off running, and one goes this way and the other one goes the other way. She and a friend tried chasing them, but they disappeared with the pups. Even so, Canales recognized them and found them on Facebook. I know people who know them. Um, I have their social media accounts and everything. It's the exact same people. Friends warned her it would be dangerous to confront them. Yet even now, like they're posting Snapchats of their of my dogs on their Snapchat still. Puppies like these that she misses deeply. Once it all happened, like I cried for about two hours. Once I got home, like I I didn't know how to handle it. Jesse De Goyado, KSAT 12 News. So far, no arrests in this case. San Antonio police advise anyone making a transaction to use a safe exchange zone at every police substation. They have surveillance cameras and police in the area. They also say if someone isn't willing to go to a substation, then you need to be very cautious.